let us see some interview viva basic questions of data structures uh, first is what is data structure so there are various uh, you know books and there are various definitions so the logical and mathematical model of a particular organization of data is called data structure so this is very important when we discuss the organization of data in a particular structure but it has to be somewhat logical and also because uh, we are going to program it so needs to have some mathematical model also so there are two types of data structure one is linear one is non linear like um, in you know array and um, linked list these are linear because uh, only one node can be accessed uh, from the other node while uh, tree and graph they are non linear because you can access multiple node from a single node so what are the goals of data structure what do you achieve by it first is it must enrich or rich enough in a structure to reflect the actual relationship of data in real world because actually data in real life it is what we are going to program so the structure should be simple enough for efficient processing of data and this processing includes the um, accessing and uh, searching and uh, sorting deletion addition modifications all these what does abstract data type mean adt so this uh, data type this is a collection of values so apart from the collection values it also has set of operation on these values so this is adt is actually a mathematical concept that define a data type it is a useful tool for uh, specifying the logical properties of data type so adt or abstract data type consists of two parts values definition and then operation definition so values along with operation is abstract data type uh, for example the value definition for this adt rational it states that this rational value consists of say two integers uh, second doesn't equal to zero for example just we are taking an example now so the operation definition of this adt rational may include the operation of creation say make rational addition of rational multiplication or test for equality this is how we make a adt what is the difference between stack and an array stack and array there are various uh, differences first stack is a uh, ordered collection of items and uh, array may be ordered may not be ordered but stack forms a particular order stack is a dynamic object whose size is constantly changing as items are pushed and popped so you have a pointer on the top of the stack which increases and decreases and stack may have different data types this is also possible and stack is declared as a structure containing an array to hold element of the stack and also an integer who or which points to the current stack top within that array while well, uh, if you talk about array array is an ordered collection of items again you know it's they are ordered so there is no difference in the ordered collection of items both are ordered but array is a static object that means uh, the number of items are quite fixed not quite but actually fixed uh, and uh, they are assigned by declaration of an array and unlike stack the array must contain the same data type so what you know you'll ask uh, then how we are going to implement this stack so array can be used to um, implement stack so array can be home of stack that is array can be declared large enough for maximum size of the stack this can also be possible and this is also possible generally stack uh, is uh, represented by array only so what do you mean by recursive definition recursive definition means recursion or calling itself the so definition with defines an objects in terms of simpler cases of itself is called a recursive definition so a bigger problem is uh, divided into simpler problem so actually this bigger problem is nothing but the smaller problem and this these are the smaller problems are the image of the bigger one only so a function is calling or the definition is that you make simpler cases and these simpler cases are the object of uh, the above case only and it calls itself what is sequential search one by one search this sequential search it actually it is searching finding an, uh, an element so sequential search each item in the array is compared with the item being searched until a match will occur so it is applicable to a table organized either as an array or as a linked list so in array also there are various way you know there are various uh, searching algorithm but in a sequential search you start with the first index of the array and you uh, proceed till you reach the matching value in linked link, link list also the same uh, because the formation of linked list is somewhat different but still the searching is uh, sequential only seventh is what actions are performed when a function is called as you know when a function is called first we pass the argument 
that is formal uh, to actual uh, values will be passed then local variables are allocated and they are initialized and then finally the control is transferred to the function eighth is what actions are performed when a function returns function is called these are done when function returns what actions are performed first is the return address is to be retrieved the function data area is need to be uh, needed to be freed and the branch is taken to the return address so first you save the return address then all those functioning will be done and this data will be uh, function data will be freed and then we return back to this return address and this is done in the stack actually we place this address in the stack what is a linked list a linked list again a linear connection of data elements we call them as node where the linear order is given by the pointers you have pointers so this each node has uh, two parts first part contains the information so this is the information of the element or the data value and second part contain the address of the next node in the list what are the advantages of uh, linked list over array array is a static data structure and uh, linked list because it grows it can uh, be made in such a way that it can uh, add various elements and you can dynamically uh, delete also that is it is it is a dynamic data structure so the disadvantage of array are first of all unlike linked list it is very difficult to insert or delete elements in the array in an array if you want to in certain element you have to make space so for that these elements are to be shifted left these are to be shifted right and if you want to delete it once it is deleted you have to shift these elements here or these elements here and one can't uh, trouble or triple the size of array as it occupies a block of memory space you have to assign value or the size of array before you can you can actually use it while in linked list what happens each element in list contain a field and uh, uh, which is called a link or a pointer which contains the address of the next element and successive element need not occupy adjacent space in this memory so they are logically connected but they are uh, physically separated 11 is can we apply binary search algorithm to a sorted linked list why now we want to apply the binary search algorithm to a sorted linked list uh, we cannot apply binary search algorithm to a sorted linked list since there is no way of indexing the middle element in the list so we have to you know we can apply they, i'm not saying we cannot apply but there will be a huge huge uh, expensive idea of finding the element because you have to search the middle one almost linearly or sequentially so this is the drawback of using linked list in, as a data structure what do you mean by free pool free pool you have various unused memory cells so pool is a list cons consisting of this unused memory cells which has its own pointer what do you mean by garbage collection garbage collection uh, it is actually a technique in which this operating system periodically after certain duration collects all the deleted space onto a free storage list and it takes place when there is a minimum amount of space left in the storage list or when the cpu is ideal not doing any meaningful work and then we have alternative method to the system immediately in reinsert the space into free storage list which is sometime time consuming so collecting the garbage or the value or the various areas which are freed or uh, unused this is garbage collection uh, in programming language like c and c++ you have to do it this by yourself while you programming while java does uh, garbage collection by itself automatic garbage garbage collection is there 14 is what do you mean by underflow and overflow you know you imagine a bucket you want to place water once the water is has come to the maximum limit the water is going to overflow understand underflow now you have a bucket it is empty now you want to take out water from this bucket there is no water how can you how can you assume of taking out the water so this is underflow so when a new data is to be inserted into a data structure but there is no available space this is filled this that is free storage list is empty this situation is called as overflow and you want to delete an item from a data structure when it is not because the limp, the uh, bucket is empty and you want to delete a data item in an empty uh, bucket so this situation is called underflow 15 is what are the disadvantages uh, array implementation of linked list you want to you want to implement the uh, linked list with an array what are the disadvantages first is the number of nodes needed you cannot predict when the program is written how can you do it this array has a fixed size and the number of nodes which declared 
must remain allocated throughout its execution. And this is a problem. What is the queue? You know, you might be standing in a queue of say a movie hall. You want to buy a ticket. Uh, you want to buy a train ticket. So this is a queue. It is again an ordered collection of items from which items may be deleted at one end. This is called a front end. If this is a queue, this may be the first front end. So you can only delete the item from here. And the item can only be inserted at the other end. This is called the rear, rear end. So this uh, obeys or this follows the FIFO rule. FIFO is first in, first out. And there is no limit to the number of elements that a queue may contain. What is a priority queue? You have known the queue. Now a priority queue. So again, priority queue is, is a data structure like queue in which the intrinsic ordering of the element is there. That is numeric or alphabetic. So there will be a intrinsic ordering. So this determines the result of uh, basic operation and it is of two types. First is you can have ascending priority queue. Here the smallest element can be removed. That is the, uh, the insertion is arbitrary. But in uh, descending priority queue, the largest element can only be removed. So there is a particular order uh, in the value which are there in queue. What are the disadvantage of sequential storage? Sequential storage means one by one. You know, fixed amount of storage remains allocated to the data structure even if they, it contains the less element. Okay, like in array. And no more than fixed amount of storage is allocated, you're causing a overflow. If this is done, how can you add extra element or store only extra element? What are the disadvantages of representing a stack or queue by a linked list? Stack or queue by a linked list. Now, you know the uh, drawbacks of uh, linked list now. A node is a in a linked list, that is you have a information or data and next uh, field. It occupies more storage than the corresponding element in, in an array. Okay, because for every node, apart from the data, we need to have the address also. So additional time also is spent in managing the available list. 20 is uh, what is dangling pointer and how to avoid it. Dangling pointer. Please understand it very carefully. After we call free, free is uh, once we create or assign a memory in this space, uh, in the storage area, then that new will assign some memory and free will free the pointer. And this, which is according to the memory area, of course. So this makes a subsequent reference to this pointer illegal. That is, though the storage top is freed, we have freed the storage top, but the value of P address, it remains unchanged. So, the object at that address may be used as the value of pointer P. That is, there is no way to detect the illegality. So, P is called the dangling pointer. Now, to avoid this, it is always better to set P to null after executing free P. Right? So the null pointer value doesn't reference to a story location. It is a pointer that doesn't point to anything. That is how we can avoid the dangling pointer. And dangling pointer is a pointer which apart from or, you know, even being freed, the pointer still lies and it remains dangling here and there. 21 is what are the disadvantages of linear list? First is we cannot reach any of the node that precede node or to go back. And if the list is traversed, the external pointer to the list must be preserved in order to reference the list again. So there will be an extra pointer. Define a circular list. What is a circular list? This is a list. How can we make it circular? If this is front and this is rear. If this rear started pointing to front, then can you assume it to be a circular list? So a linear list, the next node of the last node contain a null pointer. Okay. In a simple list, the last node will have a, or this rear will have a null pointer. So when the next field in the last node contain a pointer back to the first node, this is what I was say, talking about, then it is called a circular list. Advantages are, from any point in the list, it is possible to reach at any other point. Because this is circular. And you know in circle, even if you go round, you will reach to the same position. 23rd is, what are the disadvantages of circular list? Now, what will be the disadvantage? We can't traverse the list backward. We have to go all around, you know. And if a pointer to a node is given, we cannot delete the node. How can we delete the node? Because this is circular. This is this is break the idea of circular list. Define double linked list. What is a double linked list? You have a node in a linked list. One is data. One is your address to the next pointer, the next node. Now, if you can have uh, an another partition here. And this can contain the address of the previous node. Then this 
node knows which is the next one which is the previous one so it is a collection of data elements which are called nodes where each node is divided into three parts first is the information field that contains the information stored in the data the left field that contains the pointer to the left side and the right right, right field that contains the pointer to the right side 25th is it is uh, is it necessary to sort a file before searching a particular element now this is a very tricky question because it seems very easy but if less work is involved in searching an element than to sort and then extract then we don't go for sort okay it is not required for the member to be sorted but if frequent use of the file is required for the purpose of retrieving specific element the main idea is to search only then it is always a good idea or efficient to store the element so this depends on the situation 26 says uh, what are the issues that hamper the efficiency in sorting a file you want to sort a file what are the issues first is the length of time required by the programmer in coding a particular sorting uh, algorithm or a program and the amount of machine time which is necessary for running a particular program and the amount of space necessary for a particular program so time and space efficiency is the criteria uh, calculate the efficiency of sequential search the number of comparison because these are the value okay you go from one place to another sequentially if these are n numbers say so number of comparison depend on where the record with the argument key appears in the table if it is uh, in the first position only one comparison if it is at the nth position or last position then what comparison will be done so that will be n so 1 plus n by 2 that will be n average comparison and if you have unsuccessful search again you have go, you have to uh, traverse all the layers to the last element and then say the element is not found so the number of comparison in this case will be order of n so these were few questions and more questions are coming till then thank you so much take care